John and I, we've been playing music since junior high. We've played with Jim since 1984. At any given point, <laughs> though, we've all played music together. The six guitar players on this record have unbelievable talent, but the gift they have is a voice that you know. Jim Cox has played with just everybody on the planet. There's a big difference between somebody who can play and somebody who can improvise anything, anytime, mm -hmm. and nail it the first day. Right. That's it. That's wow. What's his nickname? Mr. Music Business. <laughs> <laughs> John's producing the album with Sterling. The medley that we did, the yes. second song starts with a, a drum groove, <laughs> and we were talking about, you know, do you want to play over that or do some kind of like, no, I don't want to play over that. <laughs> yeah. Have it start like with that. That was so incredible. Oh, just like so just right in the pocket, so natural. You were such an essential part of this record. You know, hearing the mixes, are, it, it's, it's fabulous. It's really got a point of view. It's got a sonic personality, a lot of different genres. <laughs> Just the process of starting in the room, like the two of us, coming up with those tracks, and then you bringing in a song idea, and then maybe us shaping it together is like, well, let's try this groove on that song. Let's give it our own treatment. The guitar is being forced into a position where it's the vocal, yes. you know, member. Yeah. It's such a difficult thing to do. The guitar could be something that sounds awful if you bend the strings the wrong way, or it could be something that's so expressive. Every note that's ever been played by anybody is sort of like, in a way, a snowflake, in that there's no two that are exactly right. alike. They can't be. It's impossible. I think also, like, we all love you so much and you brought all of us together. Good point. The songs that you're choosing and everything, there's a lot of meaning. You know, I want to be part of that. I want to share in that experience. What surprised you most about this full record? Honestly? Yeah. The personality of the notes that comes off of your fingers. I just like the way your notes sound. You've made this recording like a fun thing and put, brought people together very organically. I think a great part of this record is it got us together today. Like Steve I said, when was the last time you actually sat with friends and listened to a record? Especially one that you made together. You've always been my biggest inspiration and we wanted to show the spirit, the camaraderie, I think the trust. Steve Vai, Steve Morris, John Petrucci, Steve Lugather, Jay Green, feeling comfortable enough to play stuff outside their kitchen and give it their all. I don't think it all, that all came across. I mean, I knew it would be good, but I, I, I think it's exceptional. I really do. I'm trying to think. I can't remember the last time I actually asked somebody. <laughs> so I asked her if I could play on the record. I heard that Steve played and Luke played, and I was like, wait, I, what about me? I want to play <laughs> in your album. I very rarely get to play with that mighty power that comes from so much experience, so much talent. It's a real privilege. It's amazing.